Hello, horror fanatics. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another pop review for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. Today, I'll be taking a look at the pop down Beetlejuice Hot Topic exclusive Beetlejuice with Tante's Inferno Room by Funko, of course. Now, take a look at the box here. Now, just like the, um, the uh, Peter Bakeman with the Firehouse from Ghostbusters that I did review to the usual deluxe Funko Pop box. You can see the window is fully exposing the um, the pop here and also the little the little town here. It does have the Hot Topic exclusive sticker here. It does say Beetlejuice there. Pop Town and the name he is number six. On the side here, we got nothing much else. Just Pop Town there. On the other side, you get the name. And all that on the back here there's nothing much in the back no no new pops or anything well you got this cool little artwork of the sandworm from the film so anyway let's release this town and including the Beetlejuice pop out of the box here we got Beetlejuice with Dante's Inferno room out of their box let's take a look at the pop here Beetlejuice there now, we have, like, several variations of Beetlejuice. You, we got the one in the his iconic striped shirt, him wearing Adam's clothes. And then we got, like, the one where he's wearing the, the tour guide outfit. And now, finally, we have, like, him in a wedding outfit. But now, this is, like, a different look for the Beetlejuice pop. I really like the little spikes on this pop here. I mean, it looks really neat. I gotta admit, they did really a decent job with it. I really do like it so much. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, you could like the little spikes picking out there. The outfit, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same outfit as the Tour Guide Beetlejuice one. You can see some like the little lions there. And you can see like his skin there. And you can like the little belt buckle there painted onto it with a little sculpted pelt. And you can just like the ring right there sculpting onto it. Now let's take a look at the head scope here. The head scope, I gotta admit, they did really a, a great job capturing this head scope. It looks really good. Very well Beetlejuice-ish. And you can see like some of the green hair and his green mustache printing on there. I gotta admit, they did really a decent job with it. You get like the little buttons there. Little holes for the buttons. You can see some sculpted pockets. And some moss, green green moss on his trench coat here. You can see like the little sculpted fly on his pants here. And you can see his bare legs, skin exposed. You can see the socks there. And plus, if you want to look for this pop, be careful with the little messy paint there. Yeah. Uh, you can see some sculpted shoelaces there. Nice, nice glossy paint to it on the shoes. And on the bottom, there's some legal stuff in the bottom of the feet as well. For this pop, I gotta admit, they did really a, a great job with this pop. The only problem is the legs here. I mean, to, like, on, if you see in the front, it looks fine. But then when you put it on display, oh, okay, maybe not. Like, right here. Whoop. Oops, sorry. Like, I'm not sure you can see that, but... His leg is like wobbly. Yeah, the foot like maybe maybe it's a little bent there. I might fix that with a hot dryer. I mean, it doesn't seem like he's falling on the other leg there. Like oh, there it is. there it goes. Stay. Overall, is it this pop itself looks really great. Now let's look at the Tante's Inferno room. Now let's carefully move this guy here. Now let's, let's look at Dante's Inferno Room. I mean, I gotta admit, they did a really a great job look, with this. It looks really good. It looks exactly like the one from the movie. I mean, it looks, it looks, I mean, come on, it's amazing. You get, like, the little pitchforks all over it on the, um, the whole town here. Including the one on the top. You get the lamppost with a little light bulb sculpting onto it. You get the sign here. You get the lot. And you get the like, little devil's head there with his mouth open. And hey, you can see the door here. The texture on the walls, I really do like how they look, the texture to it. Get the little grass there. 
in right here the little fake grass because this is basically Adam's model which he did not mysteriously build probably Beetlejuice did well who knows you can see like the little sculpted hand handle doorknob you get a little star there nice putting on the stars on the the top here all over the things and you see like the curtains there now which is interesting that there's like the little open space here but if you like whoops let's let's bring out this pop here yeah it feels like you want to put beetlejuice on it but maybe not because he look because it's basically too small i really wish it's like wide enough so you can actually put a pop here that'd be really cool i mean the dante's inferno room looks really good i gotta admit they did really a, a great job capturing the looks from the movie so overall for this set, I gotta I gotta admit I really do like this Pops Town so much, and I'm very happy that we're gonna I'm very happy that we have a Dante's Inferno room, room Pop Town, and for the new Beetlejuice Pop, I gotta admit this Pop looks really good. It looks perfect. Now since Funko Co really loves to make Beetlejuice Pops, we have several two other other Beetlejuice Pops. Like, we got the one from San Diego Comic-Con. I mean, New York Comic-Con. And then we got the one from Walmart Exclusive, which is I have the Walmart Exclusive. I have not yet gotten the, the one from New York Comic-Con, which they shared with GameStop. Now, for back to this pop here, this pop town. I really do like this set so much. Very happy for this set so much. I'm really happy with the Beetlejuice pop. But I'm very more happier with the Tante's Inferno Room set. I highly recommend getting this set at your local Target, I mean Hot Topic or online. If he, if this ta this set is still available, if this set is still available. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos after you subscribe so you won't miss any new uploads and you can be part of the notification squad. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I can say. This is the Pop Movies or Pop Town Beetlejuice Hot Topic Exclusive number 6 Beetlejuice with Dante's Inferno Room Pop Town by Funko. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next day for 31 Horde Toys in 31 Days.